Wooter here with BPC Gaming. Uh, got a quick tutorial for everyone today. I've been getting asked by lots of people, how do I stream music and be able to use my mic in-game in Grand Theft Auto V? Um, so that's pretty much the purpose of this video is to give you guys a quick rundown. That being said, I'm not any expert in audio or anything like that. This is just kind of what works for me. Um, first of all, you're going to need two pieces of software. You're going to need a virtual audio cable, which you can go to vbaudio at, or vb-audio.com. Um, and download it from here, virtual audio cable. It's all donationware, so it's free. Um, that being said, if you'd like the product, be sure to buy it. Um, yeah, you need virtual audio cable, let's go ahead and download that. And also, but for a banana, you're gonna want virtual uh, voice meter banana, advanced mixer. So you can download this one as well too, um, for whichever one you need. Like I said, this is donationware as well, so you're all good with that. Um, once you install both these pieces of software, for sure you're gonna have to restart your computer. And then you can uh, come back to here. Once you have everything installed, um, you're going to want to look up this here. This is Virtual Audio Cable Control Panel. Um, this is what you actually set your lines for. So personally for me, I have three lines. You really only need two for this to work. Um, if you get into doing different things like pre-filters and um, things like that with your uh, microphone where you have a compressor and stuff like that built in. You can use voice meter banana and use a VST plugin um, that's free for that. If you want to add like a noise gate, reverb, things like that. Um, I haven't messed around with that yet, but I'm going to be doing that soon here. But for me personally, I use I use three virtual audio cables. Like I said, you only need two for this to work. Um, so go ahead and uh, all the other settings here, I have no idea what I'm doing there. So um, all I did is drive parameters. Default I believe is two. So you just set up two or three or whatever, click set. You'll probably have to restart your computer and then you'll have to come back um, and be this long. So this is voice meter banana itself. Um, it should basically look like this with a couple things turned off there. Um, I didn't mess around with too much. You don't have to do too, too much in here. It does look overwhelming at first, but um, the sky's the limit with this. You can do tons and tons of different things. I have this set up right now. This will normally be down here by default. I just have a, a preloaded file that I use um, to make my, to add a compressor thing like that to make my voice sound a lot better than my, my snowball can do. So basically to get this thing going, um, hardware input one, this is where you put your microphone. Now you'll see here this WM, WDM, KS, and MME. Basically these are just different, um, let's say, they're, they're a little bit different in like program type thing. Um, these ones have lower latency, so these ones are better, but personally for me, depending on your device, um, I notice a lot of crackling and uh, I'd have issues with that. So MME is what I use. Um, it does add delay. So you gotta keep that in mind too. You are gonna have a bit of latency, uh, a higher latency with using this. So um, personally, I use them in sync uh, with my audio. So I have delay on both my microphone and the delay on my music. So if I am doing, say, karaoke or something in game, at least it's matched. Uh, whereas before, with how I did it before, I would have an issue with that. So I'm going to show you the way that I originally did this. Um, it is a lot more advanced the way that I do it with uh, having this going to a line one to then bouncing around like crazy. But this is just basically get you going so you can stream music in game. Um, so you go to your snowball for me and then this one here I'm gonna have this set to uh, line one virtual audio cable MME and then this is where I'm actually gonna stream my music through so personally I use you can use any program um, Spotify I tried but I have an issue because you can't you can't actually adjust where the audio comes out so like for this here preferences um, output and virtual audio cable one and one for this and this will actually feed through here and let's see we'll just play say gold digger or something you can see here it's going through I can't hear it right now um, that's because I don't have my everything my outputs enabled yet so this is pretty much what you need for your inputs um, then for your outputs I had to set one already so line two click a one here MME line two 
And this will be what you're, you're going to set your uh, your mic to in game to actually have the audio come out. So for A2 here, this is just what I do use for listening to the music itself. So I just use my headset for there. And then this is where you start getting into these other options here. So I want to be able to hear my mic. So we're going to have the microphone you enable it, it's going to go out of line two. So now it's going to go out here to line two. And then for here, for the for the, the music currently playing, I want to enable this one as well, A1. So it's going to output through line two as well. And then also I want it to output through my headset. So for this one here, enable A2. So then there you go. Now I'm hearing music and my mic will be transmitting as well. If you want to say test that, you can go over here, line two. Enable this, and you should have both. So let's say I pause music. My microphone is still going through. So you can see line two is, is enabled now, you're good to go. Basically now you can just jump in game, um, and you can play whatever you want, your music and everything through that, and it'll all transmit through in game. This is basically all you have to do um, for this to work. You don't have to worry about messing around with anything else. It's, it's, there's a lot of options here, and there's a lot, like sky's the limit with this stuff, but Realistically, that's all you need, and then you're you're pretty much ready to go in game. All you have to do is set your your mic output in in game to uh, line two, and then just play whatever music you want, and it's going to come through both in like you're in here yourself, and it's going to go through in game as well, so long as you hold down the push to talk button as well as your microphone. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, like I said, it is a bit overwhelming. Um, a quick little bit of troubleshooting things. If you do have issues with crackling, like I said, make sure you're using MME. You are going to have a delay because of that, unfortunately, but um, you're not going to have any issues with crackling that much. If you do say ha still have crackling, just click menu and uh, shut down and then just restart voice meter banana and then it, that should fix your, your problem right there. Yeah, that's basically all you need. Um, any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And uh, hopefully uh, this is helpful for everyone, and hopefully uh, we'll have a lot more DJs out there. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone, and uh, catch you later.